what is up with your parents, your cousins, your aunts? Like, where are all these people? Why are they never in the vlog? How did we meet? Well, it's actually a, a very romantic story. Why don't you come and join me? And she was like, and I'm like, ako pa ba? Ako pa ang hinahamon mo? <laughs> That's just how we got to know each other and how we kind of fell in love. Ah, uh, it is honesty time. It is honesty time with Mike and Gray. After yesterday's videos, we have re been receiving a ton of comments questioning the truth behind what is going on in our lives, questioning the truth uh, behind why Gray's family is not in the vlog. And I think today we're gonna address it a little bit closer. If you don't know what I'm talking about in yesterday's vlog, yesterday's vlog, right? Yes. In yesterday's vlog, we finally introduced Gray's sister to the vlog. Uh, it was really lovely. We went to Laguna to visit her at university. We helped to move to a new dorm. And a lot of people were asking like, well, okay, that's not your entire family, that's just your sister. What is up with your parents, your cousins, your aunts? Like, where are all these people? Why are they never in the vlog? And today we want to talk about that. And actually, when I said yesterday that it's been more than a year that I've been in the vlog, I realized how little you guys know about me and how we never actually shared like my background and personal stuff, which was something we decided to do in the beginning because it's very much personal and we chose not to say those things but today i feel like i owe it to you guys to actually say what what's up why uh, you've never met my family and actually mike also has never met my parents that's not true well he <laughs> mike has uh i've never met i've met your mom <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, so first, before we get into this whole thing, I have to say that before uh, Gray and I met, Gray was absolutely not into social media. Yeah. You barely had any Very social media accounts. Persons, everything, no was on, everything was on private, everything was personal, and she was absolutely not in the whole vlogger scene. So Yeah, I have a private account on Instagram. I, the, the friends I have on Facebook are only people I know. I don't usually post like, you know, like drinking coffee or my day-to-day -day life is not something I advertise on social media. I would every now and then post about my family's birthday, my birthday or like a picture of something relevant about my life. But I was never the kind of person who would overly share everything on social media and not even just overly to share anything at all i would not i would not do that it's you know most of the time just memories that i actually want to keep in my social media but it's only for the purpose of like me recollecting those days and collecting those memories and having them out on social media but not for the reason that i want other people to see what my life is like so that's how private I was even before even my followers were on Instagram were only people that I know because they had a private account back then now I don't follow me on Instagram if you, if you want now you can shameless follow me plug. <laughs> shameless plug shameless <laughs> plug now you can follow me on Instagram Grey Kagiwa <laughs> <laughs> but, because it's all out in the open anyway so yeah <laughs> But it, it ties into a struggle that I've had ever since starting this YouTube channel and it is how to adequately respect the privacy of other people. Because so many times I get questions on the vlog like, oh, why don't you show your brother on the vlog? Why don't you show this person on the vlog? People should have the choice if they want to be in the vlog or not. I would never um, put somebody's face in the videos or put somebody into the vlog without being confident that they actually want that they were uh, that they actually want to be in the vlog and i think it was a very fun evolution of seeing how my parents at first were very like uh, don't show don't show my face on the vlog i don't want to be in the vlog but then they kind of when they came to the philippines and they learned the culture and they uh learned the, the just the way that people are here in the philippines they became more confident in being on camera they yeah. became more comfortable of showing themselves in the vlog also seeing how you know respectful people are in the comment section when it comes to family members they they became more confident they were willing and and uh, and able and happy to be in the vlogs they didn't mind it so but still a lot of people don't like that for example i when my brother came and visited us here in the philippines i always got the feeling that 
they feel uncomfortable being on camera they feel uncomfortable you know being filmed on their vacation so i kind of try to show the experience of having them here without putting them into the videos or putting their faces exactly. into the videos and some people were upset about that but you know we have to respect what people's personal choices are so it was very much like me as well in the beginning yeah i also have an affidavit signed by Tina that she is uh willing yeah, she's willing to be here she's happy to uh, be in the vlog and i've got a, a release form from her for that getting to the point is uh why my parents were never in the vlog why you guys haven't seen any of my family aside from my sister and why my sister is actually the only family that i consider um it's because i grew up with my grandmother and my parents from the very beginning since i was since I was born, um, we're never married and we're never together. I never grew up with my parents. Both my mom and my dad had their separate lives by the time that we were toddlers and until we grew up. Um, so we kept contact with them, but we were never to a personal level with their parents. And it was our grandmother who really stood up as her parents for me and my sister and my dad is currently in new york my dad lives no sorry my dad lives in uh, las vegas and my mom is currently living in bulacan with a different family and that's something that my sister and i were forced to mature to and as the older sibling, of course, I had to take on that role. It's very common in the Philippines for the older sibling to take on that role as a mom or as a dad to the younger sibling. And that's what happened with me and my sister, especially after my grandmother passed away just last year. So it's still quite a difficult time for me and my sister right now because we're trying to we're we're still trying to cope over that and heal with the fact that the only parent that we know is no longer around. So somehow um, throughout those months that even before, as I said, even before we went to Austria, we didn't manage to see my sister. Um, it's also because there were things that we want to we wanna handle uh, like emotionally by ourselves first before we could see each other. <coughs> but um, now we are to a point that you know what my grandmother always used to say to us na kayong dalawa lang ng kapatid mo ang magtutulungan is something that now is proven more and more um so yeah that's 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 that, that's the story that's the reason why my parents are never in the vlog but actually who knows actually who knows <laughs> yeah you see as as we you know grow with us whole YouTube channel and Grey grows into it as well. You get a feel of how family me members react to the videos and exactly who knows in the future they feel they might feel more comfortable. I think your sister will also be more and more comfortable if she comes like on trips with us when she has time from university and stuff. I think she'll be happy to be in the vlogs and yeah it's just it's just really something where you have to respect the people what they want what they don't want. Yeah and honestly also um, I saw someone saying in the comments when we came back from Austria someone said something about me not being able to spend time with my family with the fact that I spent Christmas in Austria New Year in Austria as I said the only family that I consider is my sister and the, the fa fact is during Christmas and New Year season my sister is studying biology and that takes up so much of her time it's literally like she has to spend every minute studying that and even during her christmas and new year break my sister didn't have the time or to her it's almost a luxury to to have to enjoy you know daily life which which we're trying to which we're trying to help her with as well as much as possible but she's very studious and my sister is very competitive to a point that she always always has to know everything about what she's studying so, while we were in Austria, my sister was still studying, like during Christmas and New Year season. And that's why we, all, we only had to make sure that we see her by the time we arrived from Austria, 
but we basically to put it into words I was not missing out I was not missing out much with my family here in the Philippines because my sister also has her own business that she's dealing, dealing with for Christmas. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, she's, she was busy. <laughs> she was busy. She had, she had things and going on and yeah. It, it, and it doesn't make sense for me to stay back here in the Philippines and Mike in Austria while my sister is studying and I'm just here yeah. in the condo. It, it doesn't make sense because I, I have no other family member to spend that Christmas with. And at the same time, I'm here in the Philippines most of the time, so it's nice to get to go home and spend a little bit of time with family over, you know, the holidays, Christmas, because, you know, my brother has a very uh, stressful job. He doesn't have that much time off, but during the Christmas weeks, he is able to take time off and we spend time with my parents at home in our family home, so, yeah. In other news, they, we, there's been so many questions lately in the comments section about like, what are we doing? What are our plans? What's happening to the condo? Uh, what's happening with the coffee shop? So maybe we'll just go through a few of the exciting things that are happening in our lives. Not that our lives are overly exciting, but uh, there are a few things that are oh, exciting. Oh, actually, before we talk about that, yes. I also want to address this very confusing comments about my pregnancy. Did I give birth? I just want to clearly clear that out. I just want to clear that out because someone said yesterday, "Nanganak ka na," which is like, "Oh, you gave birth already." So, are, you, are you sure they're not talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> so that's another thing. I was never pregnant because if I was never pregnant, and we we talked about this in a previous um, video, like about a Q and A. Q &A I, I'm not pregnant. I was not ever pregnant. And if I am, you guys would be the first to want to know. No, not the first, hopefully. <laughs> well, well, not the first, but you'll know. Yeah. You'll know. Oh, you'll know. You will know. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, sometimes I do get bloated, but it, I'm not. I'm not pregnant, guys. Yeah. So, um, to address the condo questions, yes, we are selling the condo. This has been a long process just because we've been traveling so much and we've been so busy, but finally we had uh, talks with brokers that are going to be managing the sale of the condo. If you're in the market for a condo, we have some really, really good payment terms, you know, terms to pay it over a year, uh, small down payment before moving, so some really good stuff. We'll put some more details in the description box down below. And we are officially starting viewings next week. Um, brokers are coming in to take photos of the places and then send it out to uh, their potential clients, to potential buyers. And then I think it's gonna go fairly fast. Mm. Come is gonna be gone very fast. And then we're gonna have more flexibility to do more traveling, to do more adventuring. One trip that is coming up very, very soon is we are missing the camp life. We are missing van life here in the Philippines. So we are going to be going on a camping trip to the south, probably like within the next two weeks or so. Very excited for that. Very, very stoked. Um, and we have a new little twist on the camping trip, which we will share with you guys when it actually happens. And then some more crazy news. What, what other trips do we have planned? We have quite a few trips planned within the Philippines. Mm. We have an exciting trip up to the north for a very special festival. If you can guess, do so in the comment section down below. And otherwise, we might go back to like the Mascara Festival this year. Mascara. Mascara. Dina Giang is coming up again. We missed uh, Cinelog Festival because we were in Europe. Um, I didn't see. Did, were there many vloggers that featured the Cinelog Festival? I have no idea. I didn't see any. Um, I wasn't. I, I have. I wasn't able to check what happened during the sinulog. Like what? How it? How was it? How was it this year? Yeah. If you guys know how, if you have any insights to how sinulog was this year, let us know in the comment section. Actually, did we go to the sinulog last year? We went to the sinulog yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, it was cool. So yeah, Dinner Gang Festival would be nice again. I, you guys know I love Ilo Ilo. I always enjoy traveling to Ilo Ilo. Ilo Ilo Ilo. Ilo, Ilo. <laughs> and then there's going to be a lot of stuff going on here in Manila because yes, a new Moors store is opening in a mind-blowing location. Mind, mind-blowing location. There's been some updates and changes with 
moors. We decided not to push through with the poison location. They still will be serving moors coffee, but it will remain the, the poison brand as it is now. It's not gonna transfer to moors, but we have a brand new moors location opening up hopefully by May, and I can't wait to share with you guys where the location is. Probably I'll tease the location tomorrow. In tomorrow's vlog, I'll show you the location. I'll show you tomorrow. It's actually pretty exciting. It's really cool. Mike had the first glimpse. So cool. And it's I, so I got cool. To, I got to visit the Philippines' most modern and insane mall before it even opened. And yeah. I'm gonna be able to share that it's with you guys tomorrow. It's honestly world class. It's like Dubai malls. It's that it's that extreme, luxurious and beautiful, and that's yeah. you're so lucky to to see that firsthand. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. Until that coffee shop opens up, I'm gonna be tied up a lot inside the like process of you know defining the equipment that we need and the design and the branding. Well, the branding not so much, but the design, and how the place is going to, how the branding is going to be communicated through this new location and all of that stuff. But we will have a lot of time for some adventures around the Philippines and we really need your help to figure out some very, very unique destinations to travel to in the Philippines. Places that are still very untouched, that are, have not been shown that much on YouTube. It's really difficult to um, find new places to adventure to when you've been traveling through the country for almost five years and majority of that time doing daily vlogs. I mean, we've visited so many places in the past. So we really need your help to give us suggestions for some amazing spots that are not so well known. And we, we that's the kind of like content that we want to gravitate towards when it comes gravitate towards when it comes to the travel vlogs. So please do let us know like unique destinations, unique cities. There's a lot of cities in the Philippines that we also haven't explored yet. Small mm. towns, waterfalls, beaches, islands, 7,000 islands. There must be a few that are quite mysterious and cool that have not been showed off that much. Yeah, I agree. Actually, another thing that we wanted to do before, um, but maybe we could still do this. I have yet to tour you in my hometown in Laguna. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've been to Laguna before and you've seen a lot of things in Laguna, but have you seen the local spots where you, you know, where Lagune... Lagunenos? Lagu... Taga Laguna? I think, the, the, I think the actual term for people from Laguna... You know, like Bulakenos? Mm -hmm. Pam... 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 BG, um, BGC, B, BGC Nenos. There's a BGC Nenos. That's so conyo. Um, what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Taga Laguna. So the spots where people from Laguna goes to, I think maybe we can still do that. But also, if you guys like my sister, <laughs> we've been trying to push her to do content with us. We have a few ideas lined up together with my sister. We kind of want to do a little bit of a tour around the University of the Philippines, Los Paños. If that's something you want to see, maybe let us know what other things you want to see from the vlog. Yeah, honestly. Unique restaurants. Yeah. Let us, know. let us know. By the way, guys, I need your help. Uh, a few months ago, I crashed my drone. And ever since, like, the camera has been vibrating, shaking. It's been hard to get footage with it. I'm a mechanical engineer. I don't want to have anything to do with the electrical stuff. So if you know uh, somebody that can repair, like, DJI drones, that yeah. can maybe disassemble and make sure that I think some dust or something got into the uh, gimbal engine or something, maybe mm. you can help. But, um, it's unstable. Yeah, it's yeah. unstable. It's like... Like that. <laughs> I crashed it, John. Oh yes, but it was a really cool shot that you were getting just before you crashed it. Actually, the drone crashed itself. Yeah. Yeah, because its battery was low and it wanted to return home where we took off, and it just flew up into the coconut trees and went zzzz, and then smacked on the ground. And it was done. It was done till washing. But yeah, which other destinations? Also, I think we need to. I, I would really love to go back to Boracay again. Yeah, I need the whites and between my toes, whites and my toes, turquoise waters. Kind of do miss that as well. I think I want to go back to Shagao. Yeah, Shagao, yes. Mm. So many places to revisit, many places to explore new. And another yeah. thing that we have been seeing in the comment section, which is something that we've answered before actually, um, the question of how did we meet? How did you guys meet is a question. 
So, you want to take away the dance floor, my darling? <laughs> the dance floor. Well, it's actually a, a very romantic story. We uh, we did meet online. We started chatting first with each other. We uh, were messaging back and forth for a few weeks on WhatsApp. And then you guys remember I did a motorcycle trip from Manila to Chagao. And this was after the breakup. I was trying to figure out what kind of content that I could do as a solo traveler that would be unique and interesting. It's after the breakup, but it's not yet out. But the breakup is... Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the breakup was announced, I think, half a year or more after yeah. the breakup. So there was like a long time where it wasn't out yet that we were no longer a couple. Um, but I still had to push on with making content, obviously, which was very, very challenging, very difficult. So I thought to myself, you know what? A motorcycle trip would be the perfect thing because it's something that's interesting. You do it solo and yeah, it's cool. And at the time uh, we had been chatting on WhatsApp, sending mess messages back and forth and we had, we're on a few phone calls together. And then when I was in Legaspi yeah. City, I was kind of like halfway through the trip on the motorcycle. I was in Legaspi City. I kind of, I said as a joke, you should join me on this trip. I was like, why don't you come and join me? And she was like, and I'm like, me? Me? Are you challenging me? Ako pa ba? Ako pa ang inahamon mo? <laughs> Immediately so, flew out the next day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, she flew out the next day. I, I picked her up from uh, Legaspi Airport. Mm -hmm. And we uh, spent the day like exploring around Legaspi city. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was during sunrise. We were driving from the airport uh, during sunrise to the Legaspi downtown. And it was so nice because exactly then my own volcano came out in its beautiful glory. Which is, you know, it's hard to get my own volcano clear of clouds, but was, the stars aligned, it was sunrise, there were no clouds, my own volcano was so beautifully just like there for it's us. Like, it's like uh, Kim and Tom song, the stars align. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then Ray joined me on the motorcycle trip. We drove uh, a few days, we were driving through uh, Bicol, Sama, Leyte, and then all the way to Chagao, and that's just how we got to know each other and how we kind of fell in love. Yeah, but we still did, we still did, we still, we, it, it, that's not like the, at the beginning of the end of the story, because after that trip, we still... Drifted apart a little exactly. bit. Exactly, so it's like, we were both still, we both just got out of the relationship at that time. So I guess we're both thinking to ourselves, yeah. you know, it's a difficult choice to have to commit, like, immediately after a breakup because i think I, w I just came out of a breakup back then like a month like i met i make i met mike after a month of a breakup a month after my breakup and it was i don't know about you but like it it, it that was a situation so it took yeah. us a while before we ne decided neither, neither of us was like ready. in a rush to get yeah. into a relationship again so it took a few months uh for us to kind of uh Decide. Decide and commit and yeah. So that's the story. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because if you go back to the motorcycle vlogs, um, she's never in the vlogs because of course, you know, the breakup wasn't announced and we were keeping it secret. Um, but every now and then you would see like a shoulder in the back of the, uh, of the motorcycle or a reflection uh, in, the, in the instrument cluster of the motorcycle or in the mirror. It like, was so difficult. I have to tell you, because before we went on that trip, actually, I, I said this already before, but we, before we went on that trip, Mike called me and he said to me, by the way, I have something really important to tell you because it's probably something that will affect you as well and me during this entire trip. And it's that um, he is a vlogger in the Philippines and you are going through a breakup however the breakup is not yet out in public um so it is it was gonna be it's going to be weird if people see us together you know it's it, it was a difficult time yeah. it was a, it's honestly a difficult time and even after even after the right after the breakup it, we 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 didn't 
we, we weren't going out to eat because we're yeah. so conscious of what people would say and we've had several instances as well of people going up to us and saying um you know like stuff like stuff like what happened like mm. you know personal personal questions and but you know right now i just right now we're over that phase right now we're happy that we're able to express our love and go out and some people would even say hi and it's you know it, it, it's it's nice that we've got to this point that we're so free to express our love to each other yeah <laughs> it's actually uh it's funny like thinking back now because in the beginning we couldn't really go out on dates in public yeah and the kind of that Maybe that's of, why I always also always cooked. I I always cooked at home because yeah, yeah no. But what I'm saying is like that kind of state. So we didn't. So like even when ah, it became public, we yeah. were less go out see people. Yeah, you know, it's going kind of on dates. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's something that we we then well somehow every now and then when we would travel somewhere like when we were in Italy, we would make it to a point of you know going out on dates but the funny thing about since i'm also not in the vlogging scene before this as i said it's it's the thing is when you are dating a vlogger going out on a restaurant sometimes just means work as well because that means like if you go out on a restaurant sometimes mike vlogs and reviews the food and that was like one of my culture shock well not really culture shock but um one of the things that I had to get accustomed to is that when we go in restaurants and it's something we try for the first time, we vlog it instead of like you know, when when you're not when you're not in that public uh, content creation scene, it's like just you're just enjoying the food. Yeah. You, yeah, you might have your comments about it, but you don't really have to. It's not work for you. It's leisure for you. So that's something I had to get used to as well. And must I might I say like compared to before, I'm, I've 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 made it to a point that I have so much privacy. Before, I've made it to a point that I have so much privacy that I'm so mysterious. But now I feel like I'm such an open book, and a lot of people know me because because we vlog every day and. I, Obviously, I feel like I'm, I'm, you guys know my personality. And yeah, because what you see is what you get. <laughs> Here's a fun story. When we were on that motorcycle trip, there is a scene where we're in Matnok waiting for the ferry. And I'm vlogging and Gray is in the background just sitting on a bench. And it's like blurry and you can't really recognize her or anything. But when I uploaded that vlog, my mom's like, Who's that girl in the background? Who am I seeing there? She instantly knew. Kind of my mom is so, my mom has such a good intuition. Like she knows yeah. things without knowing. She, like she just knows stuff. So she was like, I, I saw somebody in the background, <laughs> and I knew immediately. And it's just gray, literally on her phone in the background, like tiny. And so Actually, last last visit in Austria, your mom even said it to me. Yeah. <laughs> She said, yeah, I saw you in the vlog before. <laughs> said, yeah, I saw you on the screen. Yeah, you two were being. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, story time over. If you have any questions, comment section down below. Any recommendations, comment section down below. I hope that clears up a lot of things. I know I this is very much a lobby kind of <laughs> vlog, but I hope it clears up a lot of things in the comments. Yeah. And yeah, you feel free to hit us with your best, best shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>